You can take off your mask. You're not going to catch corona from them. Ooh, hell's a long hair. Ugh. Maybe next week I'll trim my beard. This like, looks like I have a beard. A red beard. <laughs> well, before Monica cleans toilets and I finish editing this vlog... It's fun, guys. We thought we'd say hi. Hello. You know, let you guys know that we're like still alive in the present here in the National Forest. If you didn't see our off-grid camp hosting video release last week, go check out that because that's really cool. Mainly, I just want to do an intro this week to encourage you to leave a comment. And uh, if you've been watching for a long time and haven't commented, or it's been a long time since you have commented, I uh, just want to know that like you're out there and you're watching and you're enjoying this. Yeah, and like let us know how you found us. Yeah, so, you know, keep the energy flowing for future vlog weeks for me. Yep. All right, enjoy this conversion vlog. See ya. Are you sad, boy? Do you want to be in the intro? I'm sorry. Maybe next week, okay? Drop a like for Gideon. We are off to another super fast start. As usual. This is the state of our living room. Yes, the people that will be living in a bus shortly. It's a wreck all the time. This is my slumber party gear. Camera stuff. That's my Monica. Monica's brother is hosting a little poker event this evening. I am not a poker player, though. I have watched Texas Hold'em on ESPN2 several times previously, so I'm sure I'm gonna be great. What are you gonna do tonight when I'm playing poker? Um, have some quiet time. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna take a second and share with the people how fucking sick of winter I am. And how do you feel about it, Cole? I don't have much against winter, but it does limit the time we have outside and it's made the conversion process slow to complete snail's pace. Just look at this. I know it's only like an inch and a half of snow, but again yesterday it's just a lot here. It was sixty degrees yesterday and now it's twenty four today. Fun stuff. Oh, looks really blue. Yeah, apparently they just like don't clear the roads out here. So that was a really interesting drive, but we are safe. Our bus is here covered in snow. Just eating Jim's food over here. Thanks, Jim. Oh, you're welcome. The true hero. Mikasa Sukasa. You, you've definitely been highlighted in the uh, video we're releasing next week, the Welcome to Bus Life Possible. Oh, really? You may get in there. There's like no direct, you know, plug for you in it. Yeah. But like, you know, they know you're a supporting actor. There you go. Okay. Yeah. They don't know you're the main builder. <laughs> Cole, just, Cole just came out here for breakfast today, so. Glad to see what Just come over here, turn off the volume on his TV. <laughs> Use eggs. <laughs> Let's see, I could <laughs> Use my electricity. <laughs> Woo, it is a winter wonderland. Looking nice. Wait to start all the way to the left. Guess who's working? 
working in the basement today. Woo! Not cool. Perks of liking and being good at painting. Look at this shit. Oh, <laughs> almost fell. <laughs> Uh, sweep the roof. Sweep the roof. Sweep the snows off. Go for it. Me? 20 degrees in here. These are the pieces that Monica has primed, and now we are going to paint them. Jim, you look great today. Thank you. Got a haircut. Oh, Aww. did Monica see her present? I don't know if Monica uh -oh. saw her gift. I think it's a raccoon. Raccoon The skulls. canines look like they're missing. He needs to go to the dentist. He needs to go to more than just the dentist. How do you like your gift? I like it. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to bleach it. Tell the people about your obsession with I bones. I have an obsession, but I have some bones. <laughs> <laughs> I may or may not. I asked Cole to take pictures last weekend when they came out to do the electric, and he took two. So I'm gonna take some more because he's just ridiculous and doesn't think about these things. I had nothing to post on Instagram. You got the heater on full blast? I got it on, it gets too hot, and then you're like, can you turn it down? So I figured, you know, we'd get it to a nice temperature, be able to keep our jackets on. You're gonna love this, Jim. Yep. I am. <laughs> we were in the process of cutting. You can use your little thing. Plug that uh that little that little saw in. The dermal saw. Yeah, the dermal Dr saw. Dremel. Oh, you know what else we need? Go get a tape measure, please. I saw one sitting in there too. I was like, I bet you Jim already has one though. Yeah. So for those of you that didn't see the last one, we've piloted these holes previously, and this is gonna be the conduit that we're gonna to use to run uh, our electric to the compostable toilet, to the lights, and keep it unseen. This is the good stuff, folks. You wanna get high, I'd recommend oh, this. Oh yeah, good stuff. Never miss out on a day of this if I can help it. Oh, we're doing PVC next week? Yeah, I can be there. <laughs> Catch a dude the gluing. <laughs> Rotate quickly. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Cousin dumbass just entered the room. Hold on a minute. Back it up just a little bit. Hold it right there. Just did a hole. Sorry. So we're going to start with the water pump. We ended up getting the Seaflow 22 series. It's a little bit stronger of a pump than their baseline. It does 1.3 gallons per minute. It's pretty heavy. Jim's got some chunky fingers, so yeah, things like this can be tricky. I have those petite hands, Jim. I don't know why I'm not doing this part. Lady fingers? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm really not sure either. You're going to do some up there. Look at these fingers. They look way smaller than yours up close, even. Oh my god. Oh wow. You got piano fingers. I thought piano fingers were like you had long fingers, and I wouldn't say I have long fingers. Well, yours are thinner, thin for their length. They're Thanks. joking there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want the water pump at? Where will it go? Which one of them switches? There's one that says water pump on there, the second one. Is there? Water pressure? Okay. You can just do so that. So number two. All right, so I don't know if there's anything wrong with leaving that on there. It's double fused. It's just, you know, that fuse, I mean, would that fuse ever go? Because I already have- It would go stuff. first. Because that's gonna be a pain in the ass then if I have to fucking take the goddamn cover off to get to that fucking fuse when I don't even need it in the first place. True that. So, we can take it off too. Warning, what you're seeing is done by professionals. Viewer discretion is advised. Right. 
exactly. Your plumbing choice should not be made solely off of advertising. <laughs> You're going to take the black wire and put it on the red and put it on this red. And can you explain to the folks at home why we're putting it on the red? All we're doing is that we're using the two wires because they're together. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to put a piece of red tape on that black wire. Yeah. But that all we're doing is we're since I'm coming to the same spot, we're coming back up, putting the power in here, and since I have an extra wire, then I come back out of that, and that's what's going to turn the actually go to the power side of the pump. Okay. So it's called a switch leg. Uh, it's done in all kinds of electricity. And switch legging. Switch legging. So we got the first one wired up, and you probably can't hear it, but the water pump is running down there, isn't it, Jim? Turn it on. Yeah. Cool. I'm figuring out the nature head uh, toilet now. Well, I was missing some wires that were in the box because Monica did the original unboxing. This has the end that plugs into the toilet, and then it has a marked positive and then a negative end which we're going to go ahead and connect to that cable dangling. This is in, the power in. Okay. Now strip this back and here. What are we making that? You're going to put, um, you're going to put on the red wire, you're going to, we're going to butt splice this together and put it on there. Okay? Just do that for me. Okay. So we basically have to join the three negatives together off of the singular negative on the switch panel now? Yeah. So we're going to put two, we're going to use this little bit bigger uh, terminal butt splice connector. We're going to put two wires under one of them. Okay. I'm just imagining my, the first time this isn't working and me having to pull this off the wall being like, what the fuck did we do? Yeah. There you go. Oh, well. Good times ahead. Good times ahead. Okay, let me hook this into the panel now. Oh God, yeah. you got fuses in? Uh, uh, okay, now. Uh, Does it so gracefully. It's so damp and cold down here. You know, just for testing purposes, do you think I should take a shit in the toilet at the same time we're doing the fan? Just... I already did. Oh, okay, good, because you're always thinking ahead. Well, you weren't in here and the GoPro was off, so I figured, what the hell. Nice, the blue light's on. I thought that was all it would be. Let's double check the fan here, see what side it's blowing. Right now it's blowing out on this side. So it's sucking through the fresh air through that end. As of now. Yeah. So you could swap that then. All you have to do is move one to the other, I guess. You just have to move yeah. the fan over here. Yeah, I think you, that, I'm sure that's universal. You could move it. But that's what's going to pump our... Uh, yeah. Can you smell anything? It smells like plastics. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess I did good. It smells like Office Depot. Sweet. All right, Jim and I have been working really hard. <laughs> Good. Why, why are you laughing, Jim? Jim's been working hard. <laughs> Jim's, Jim's killing himself. So, check this out. Go ahead and flip on the sure? one that says water pressure. Okay. Wow. And then go ahead and flip on the one that says fridge. I hear it. Buzzing. It's not, it's not the fridge, it's the toilet, but the toilet. Okay. we're going to relabel it. <laughs> gotcha. Two totally different things. <laughs> <laughs> Although related. <laughs> My hair is so staticky. I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Okay. So anyways, here are my cabinets. 
primed and painted. Um, this is the kind of paint we're using. We went to Sherwin-Williams. It's like a trim paint, basically. Uh, but he said it'd be really good and durable and easy to clean. So that is what we want. I also just wanted to add that Cole and I just recently filmed our Welcome to Bus Life Possible video. That's the first video that we posted on our channel. And I am feeling so much more confident about vlogging than ever before, I think. Because the whole interview process was so awkward. Sitting in front of lights and the camera and it just felt like, oh my god, all the focus is on me. It was so scary. So, god, this is so much better. Hopefully we'll be a little bit less awkward now. We originally thought we were doing shelves in here. Jim, what are your thoughts? Well, I was saying that if you put the lights along here, you could still have a shelf that sat out in front of it to like stack stuff on, but the light would, is going to want to roll and reflect around that. Yeah. That anyway. Mm hmm So, I mean, depending on where that shelf would actually be, you're not going to have that tall stuff in here anyway. Right. Maybe it's, you know, I don't know what, canned goods or dry goods of some sort or, you know. My knickknacks. Yeah, your knickknacks, your Hummel collection. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that you're precious in, angels. I know you're into those little Thai beanie baby things. You know you can <laughs> rubber band them onto it or something. I got rid of all those. Yeah. This is. I just feel like I'm gonna fuck up right away. Cole, you were saying earlier you're kind of anal about things. How are you feeling about this? Uh, I feel uncertain. I'm, I'm uncertain about how we're doing this in the first place, so um, I'm just trying not to have expectations. I love what you're doing so far, though. It's a little and I don't know, we didn't get it on film, but be prior to this, we cleaned this enamel with some denatured alcohol to get rid of all the grease and... It's still kind of dirty, even though we've done a lot of cleaning in here. Uh, that just ensures a good stick to this. And every, uh, everyone you know, loves they, a good stick. That's right. Oh wow, that worked out really well, Jim. Good deal. Was I supposed to solder? We were supposed to put that connector on first though? No. Doesn't matter. That's only if we were continuing on with another piece. Oh, okay, that's right. So that's just the dead end. So now you're just going ahead and you're pushing that all down, making sure it's like it makes contact everywhere. There you go. You can see that it's yeah. not connected in some areas, so. All right. That's even pretty So good. I think the important thing here with this is just make sure it's clean. Yeah. And dry. I wonder how this will hold when it heats up. If I'm here like this and this is here. Yeah. This could go up and into here like that. Or we can cut this off and make that, you know, I see, because we have this. Right. Yeah. So. Let's... Or I get a or I get a bit big enough for the whole thing to fit in. Say something. Let's do that. Let's do a bit big enough for the, that whole coupling. And then that way we don't have to look at it. Okay. Say something. <laughs> I'm I'm thinking, Jim. How's that look? Big enough. It's big. Can I show you something? Now, if you look the way your drill is, you see how you're on an angle? What that means is you're only cutting with one edge of the bit. So if you move this hand more underneath, uh -huh. Now you can square this up. Does that so mean that, it's level? Well, it means it's going to cut with both edges of the bit. <sighs> All right, let's cut that off. Let's this there. Make sure it fits here. Yeah. Sweet fancy Moses. 
Okay. Yeah, that looks really good then. Good. Straight. There you go. Right there. Okay. Hell yeah. Nice. Sturdy. Okay, give me that. Now, we don't know, and it may or may not be critical. What's positive, what's negative? Yeah, so what we may do is yeah, we just... Yeah, do. do. we? Yeah. Did it say? No. It has the same emblems on it as the nature heads, I think. Did it? You see this on this side? Okay. See how it has lines? Well, does it? They don't look that close. I don't have my glasses. You see this has the lines? Oh, yeah. So Did that's it? the uh, that's the negative side, That's right? what I believe it was on the nature heads. Yeah. Okay, okay, Cole gets to go underneath the, the bed this time. Watch how gracefully he gets down from here. It helps when you're super flexible. And young. Uh, you look like an 80 year old man climbing into a warm bath. I wish I had a warm bath. Where am I going? You're going underneath. Oh, I'm winded. <laughs> All right, I'm here. You've done now, some nice stuff back here, Jim. It's looking good, isn't it? It really is. So I'm going to shove a wire down to you that's going to come out of this, you know, into the T. Okay. Oh, no, Cole. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, I knocked myself out. <laughs> you but you betting man, you're gonna be the night playing poker. I'll take it. I'll take five. Okay. I will take five on that. He's gonna like knot it up in a ball just to get it down here. I tried to feed three wires down from that direction earlier, and I couldn't make it happen. And I like to think I tried everything to make it happen. He's really coming from the guy that takes. Freaking an hour to fucking strip back two freaking wires. Whoa, whoa, sir. He's trying hard though. He's working for the five dollars right now. Just let me know when you want me to feed him from this direction. I'm trying to figure out where it's hanging up at. It I think must be right at the S curve. I, yeah, I think it's getting hung up. That's the only part that I could think of. How's it coming, Jim? Where's he going? You're getting extra yeah, tools? Hold on. I'll be back. He's cheating I'll now. Somewhere. What'd you get, Sailor? Oh, you got something to get my $5. Uh, this is what you call cheating, folks. No, this is not cheating. This is what you call smart. This is what you call an investment. Even though I'm going to lose, I still feel like I won. <laughs> That's all right. Even though... Even though you lost, I feel like I'm five dollars richer than I was before we made the bed. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, getting hung up still. Five dollars could be safe. Oh, five dollars could be safe. <laughs> We spend the next three hours just Jim trying to figure out how he gets this wire down here. I can't hardly believe that. It's really hard to tell. Almost seems like it's at the top of it. Thinking about getting a five dollar foot long with this. I'm feeling so confident right now. <laughs> uh, at this point, the entertainment is worth the five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. See wire? Nope. Oh, damn it! He got it through. All right, I'll give you the I'll give you the five dollars. I don't know if I got the cash on. What if I just take one of your <laughs> shoes until then? This is not cool. 
What are you doing, Cole? Having neck pain. <laughs> I'm running cable through this PVC pipe, trying to get it to come out the other fucking end. I feel like I've ran nine feet into this thing. Well, why don't you go looking for it? It's probably getting caught up on this fucking S turn. You're familiar with that, Jim. <laughs> um, Tell us about the five dollar bet, Cole. That I lost. I lost a five dollar bet. Yeah. Jim's the best. I don't know what to say. The black to the black and the red to the red. Bingo bango. You want to grab me some of these butt slices? Butt slices? <laughs> it's butt splice. Your butt slices. <laughs> Pretty sure you said butt slice. Oh yeah, they're butt slices. <laughs> I've, been call I've been calling them butt slices all day. You just now <laughs> guilty as charged. I wasn't paying attention to what you were talking about. Here you go. Oh, jeez, oh, you're lucky. My balls are small. <laughs> Cole enjoys all of this. You're gonna really love this video we put out this week, Jim. <laughs> I can't wait to say it. Funny. When does it air? There's a lot of me cursing. I'm like, do I sound? <laughs> Am I really that much of a body mouth? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess so. Every time Monica drops the f bomb, I have in there. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> when does it uh, actually air? I think we're gonna just set it off at the beginning of the week. Yeah. I don't see a reason why not to. We got it complete. Dog. Welcome. Yeah, try the on it here. Get over there, Monica, with him. Nice. Try the on and off and the. Uh, Let's see the dim. Does the dim work? Mm -hmm. Nope. No. Hold it down. Probably because it's not. Uh, it was it, already dimmed. It's brighter now, I think. Oh, yeah. There you oh, go. Shit. So it does work. Okay. Hell wondering. yeah! I was wondering why it wasn't very bright. Okay. All right, so we're working on the second set of lights. Working on the kitchen area now. The bedroom lights look on fleek. They're looking great. And uh, Jim, how you feeling? I'm feeling great. Uh, tell us about the connectors you're going to use on here. What are you using? Is your file is your connector? Well, we've gone to these open face kind of fork connectors instead of the circular ones because we ran out of them. But they'll work the same. They just slip in and out, but we'll have them screwed down so they shouldn't be that loose. Crepper. I don't like to wear my hat backwards for the record. It just is helpful in the situation since I'm underneath a bed and I keep hitting my head. Well, you're a biker now, so, I mean, really, you, you've earned your right to turn your hat backwards. Is that what they used to do back in the day? Yeah. We just, I consider like more like douchebags to well, wear their hats backwards. If the shoe fits. <laughs> this is what I'm dealing with. You want to come out? Uh, I need a fuse, I guess, or... Okay, what size fuse you want? The potato kind. Um, How about 15? For the lights, these are going to be the two... The two lights together. 15 amp. Says it right there. You're just guessing amps right now because we don't know what the fuck we're doing with it. So we we'll just throw some in here. It'll work. We've got fucking fuses everywhere. Who gives a shit? <laughs> okay, Cole, let's see you come out of there. That's what, that's what everybody's waiting for. Tell you ah! what. He's coming out reverse! <laughs> What? Doing inside? Like, in the Cole, you're losing time. your hair. Thanks. This is the good part right up here. Wow. That, <sighs> lot, that happened recently? Don't wait to live your life, people. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's because of the stressful work environment. <laughs> <laughs> Tell oh, us what you're doing now, Cole. I was cleaning the up after time. you fools. <sighs> Fucking trying to get one of these butt slices to work. <laughs> And he is having a grand time doing it. I just got it done and it just like fell off the back end. Hmm. It's it's because it's oversized for the small wiring couple that we got for the light. 
and it's just a little too big for the other side. Oh my god. Do you want me to critique you as you go, or? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> not ever. <laughs> I didn't realize it already had the sticky stuff on it already. You thought you were going to put like glue or something behind it, or? I don't know. I don't know what I thought. Looking good. Go ahead and oh. hit that switch. Go back over it and just press it down a little bit. Okay, so we got that. Okay, got that. Got Pump. Pump. Oh, it's a little bitty guy down there. I so this see guy. it. Turn that one on for him. And our dimmer. Kind of wish all of them dimmed. We'll never remember which light switches for what. <laughs> you didn't tear the blue off, you oh, tore the strip the off. It was already hanging there. Hold on. What? Yeah, cool. Okay. Wow. You know, you guys, you wow. just, you're just, wow. there's a lot of going at it and not a lot of extra oh, you analyzing. Bet? You want to bet? I shall never see again. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> this side's looking great. I'm a little thrown off with this being short. All right, guys. We have new lights. It looks really nice. It looks here. like a studio in here. It it does. We're very well lit right Super now. Super sweet. My ears got really cold after we stopped working there. Yeah. We are super excited to release our first video this week. That's where we're at in the history of Bus Life Possible right now. Yes. It's a little blast from the past each time we have a conversion video, and then we'll be doing all types of exploring in the present with you all on the road once we get there. Yeah, so if you haven't watched our first video, go check it out. We're super awkward and weird. Yeah. <laughs> If you haven't noticed by now, <laughs> you probably don't need that video to tell you that. Anyways, uh, yeah. Bye, guys. See you next time. Bye.